Hey guys, so today we're going to show you how to upgrade and or install a graphics card. First you're going to want to go to Programs and Features. You're going to look for the NVIDIA drivers. You'll find the PhysX, the Audio Driver, the Graphics Driver, and the GeForce Experience, usually. So start with the PhysX, just click it, and then click on Uninstall or Change. So this part here is for um, only if you're upgrading your graphics card, not if you're uh, doing a fresh install. Yep. Uninstall that. You can click on reset, la restart later, but I clicked on restart now. So now we're that, idiot. Yeah, so now that we're back, we go to programs features. Uh, sometimes they don't appear to be uninstalled right away. Just click on install again. For some reason, this actually wasn't. Yeah, that was odd. Next, uh, GeForce Experience, because the last thing you want to do is your drivers, and then... Oh, and shit. Yep. There it goes, Sh shadow play. Yeah, uh, forgot that we use GeForce Experience to screen cap. But, next is the actual drivers themselves, and it's as simple as the rest of them. So now we uninstall the previous graphics card. Uh, start with the uh, power cord, if there is any. Then unscrew it from uh, the bracket. Now you're going to remove it from the motherboard by pushing out the clip and pulling it out just like that. Uh, make sure you leave the clip open for the next graphics card. Thank your graphics card for its time of service. And just put it aside. Now if you're just installing a graphics card, this is where you're going to want to pay attention. Uh, make sure you remove any plastic that will stop span fans from spinning uh, or get in the way. Um, if you're not going to SLI, or use any of the ports in the back. You can leave the rubber plugs in to protect it from dust and damage. Then you slide it on in just like that. And it, just like the RAM, the clip should clip on its own. Give it a little check to make sure it's in there nice. Then to make sure it stays in there, uh, screw it into the bracket nice and tight. Then it's time for the power cords. Make sure you grab the right power cords because not just any 8-pin will fit. Now that you have the right power cord, plug it in and then do some cable management. Make sure you don't put too much strain on your cords because you don't want to ruin them. And then plug it into the appropriate spot on your power supply, unless it's pre-installed. Now it's time to install your drivers. So go to geforceexperience.com, go to drivers, and select your um, graphics card specs. So I use a 10 series GTX 1070 uh, with a with uh, Windows 10 64-bit operating system, I want it in English. Search for all, and there we go. There's all the versions of that of drivers available for the graphics card. The top being the most updated. Just click on that, download and run the program. Uh, I would show you how to do that, but I needed to download it uh, in order to get uh, the GeForce experience back, so I could screen cap. All right, hope we helped out, guys. Uh, enjoy your new graphics card.